遺跡を動かしている者がいるなら話がしたい降りてきてもらえないだろうか This sounds like a familiar voice. She's demanding that whoever started moving the ruins come out and have a talk. Ne Avaro, Josai no Mori ni Hitoga Taksa in the Mitai da yo. Nanika no Matsuri kana. Fia comes to the obvious conclusion here that all these people wandering around outside the castle must be having a festival. Eh, Dorego Kitoka Wakotiru? Avaro knows what's going on though. Remember at the beginning, the kingdom claimed these ruins? Yeah, they've come to enforce their claim. So now we get to try and convince these people that we didn't actually steal it, it was Fia's to begin with. This could be tense. You know, it seems like everything feels the answer to it is I'm a goddess, so it'll be alright. Well, let's hope that's true, huh? Oh, she recognizes us. Ooh, we recognize her too. This is great. Mina, Kekai wo toite mo daijoubu da. Buki wo osame yo. And she wastes no time in calling her soldiers off of attention. Shikashi, Kaguri san to kakusho. Kono jokyo de iseki wo ugokasarete wa dou naru ka? Shut up, Mook. Kono mono wa watashi no shiriai da. Hanashiai de kaiketsu dekiru da ro. Well, she is confident that she can talk it out since she knows Avaro. Ah, uh, uh, mooks. Avaro, I'll introduce you to me. I'm happy to be here. I'm sorry for the loss of my life. I'm sorry for the loss of my life. She takes a long time to say it, but she's glad to see that Avaro's all right, and she's been worried. Well, Avaro's glad for that, and says he was worried about her, too. Well,その心を嬉しく思う。本当に無事でよかった。ああ、義士の無事を確認した後、村へ送り届けた。その後にでもアバロを探したかったのだが、さすがに一人では捜索も難しかったから。so now we get to hear what she did while we were split up. So yeah, she went back to the kingdom, got some soldiers, and came back to rescue him. Primarily. She had a few other orders, which we'll get to in a few minutes. So, even before seeing Avaro, she called out to the castle to try and get an audience with whoever. And Avaro wants to know what audience these what kind of conversation we need to get to about that? So straight up, is Avaro the one who started the ruins moving? I don't know why, but Avaro decides to ask her why she isn't asking how the thing's moving, rather than whether he moved, whether it was him. She's got a good point. It's kind of hard to ask. It's kind of pointless to ask why when it's pretty obvious that it is happening. Kind of like sometimes you know what is happening, but you don't know how or why. 
And that's okay sometimes. And the ruins were pretty much unknown to begin with. If they'd had a room full of people just guessing, somebody might have eventually guessed that it was right, and it's not like anybody could prove them wrong. So, knowing that it is moving, she just wants to know who started it moving. So she's focusing on the positive parts of her mission, which is making sure that these ruins don't hurt anybody and rescuing Avaro. So Avaro gets to the point. This is Fia. Man, oh man. She asks if it's alright for her to be talking. The conversation seemed really important, so she kept her mouth shut. Which was pretty good thinking on her part. Normally she'd just butt in. So let's start an explanation of what's happened on our end, since we've heard Kishnir's story. Right. Introduce yourself, Fia. Okay, Fia is Fia. She's a goddess. そうか。私はキスニルという現在はイーフル総国に席を置いているものだ。この遺跡の監督責任を待て。神だと。And Kisnir kindly starts her introduction, which is even longer than Fia's. And halfway through realizes what Fia actually said. So here we got Fia saying it's not ruins, it's the Guadalcuna castle, and furthermore, it's Fia's body. Either Kisner is not really that smart. Yeah, and that's alright, she's a kind enough girl. Or she just doesn't want to really understand what she's saying because it's so ridiculous and the implications are rather unfortunate. So, Avaro met Fia in the castle, was sleeping, now awake, <laughs> stuff started moving, etc, etc. <laughs> As Fia powers up, she gets to move the castle further, and Avaro is the is her apostle. So the short version is, no, Avaro isn't the one who started the ruins moving. It was the Lord of the castle, being Fia here. Yeah, that's a good enough explanation for now. If you need proof, we can provide it as soon as possible. Kisner's still kind of skeptical. Now, starting with, calling herself a god is not really forgivable. Yeah, it's pretty outrageous, isn't it? This is a description of what gods are and what they do. Basically, they watch over the humanity from the heavens. Their will is absolute and they can't be opposed. Yeah, that's not exactly the image Fia gives off, is it? Yeah. Yeah, Fia's not that kind at all. But she did lose her 
memories and power during the sleep that long sleep she had so I guess something like that happened so Avaro is helping Fia and Fia is moving the castle so Alright, here we go. What are Avarofia trying to do moving the ruins about? Got a place to go. Alright, let's hear it. We're going to the God's Haze. Kill the music. Somebody said something important. Thank you, Mook. So, yeah, let's hear it again. Th that's the holy ground of the Fuchsia Church. Okay, who decided that? The god Fuchsia. You know, it hasn't actually been said whether this is a god or a goddess. But anyway. Wow, Fia, I didn't know you had any seriousness in you. So that was a proper introduction, and further a declaration that she will not be stopped. Man, if she got into that mood from time to time, maybe people would take her seriously. このような誰事に付き合うことなどありません。今すぐに取り押さえ遺跡を取り戻すべきです。Shut is going to continue to try and talk sense into us. Shut up, Mook. 私にはどうしてもアバロが悪事を働いたようには思えないのだ。Kisnu really doesn't want to believe that Avara has any evil purposes in mind here. Avara Now she's asking whether he intended to walk off with the castle, or whether he knew of this ability and infiltrated the expedition team in order to do this. And yeah, neither of those. It was an accident, as far as he was concerned. And once it was in, he was kind of stuck. So, she doesn't want to believe that the, we two are bad guys, so she's going to do her best to help us, actually. First she'd like to point out that Avaro is an impressive engineer being able to get this castle moving at all. With his abilities proven like this, he should be able to get a workshop in the in the kingdom. And furthermore, Kisne recognizes that Fia has lost her memory and was sleeping inside the castle. Mm, 
And she swears to help Thea regain her memories as best she can and assist as much as possible getting her to any place she would like to go. Quit butting in, Mook. So, that was what Kisner was offering, and what she requests is that we stop the castle and let her, you know, secure it. She says she won't do anything bad. Avaro speculates that if we refuse, she's going to have to do it by force. Well, yes, that's true, but she doesn't want it to come to that, and that's why she's making this offer. So, she literally pleads to have them accept this offer and get her help in their endeavors. But we need to clarify a few points. But Avar Avaro is Thea's apostle, so we need to get some things straight. The castle is Thea's body, for one. And it's hers unconditionally. And, well, the castle... The kingdom cannot change that. Wow, she isn't directly contradicting that. She says that she wants to protect Fia by means of her plan. So let's get straight to the point. If we accept the offer, what happens to the castle? The kingdom will administer it. She is so straight. But it's good that she's honest. Yeah, I've always so touched by her sweetness that he actually puts out a little laugh there. But let's clarify, I'm not laughing at you. It's just so touching. I mean, if she had a dishonest bone in her body, she could have us arrested pretty quick here. All right. Coming down to it, let's ask Fia whether she wants to accept the offer. Fia, were you paying attention? You said something serious and then you shut up for like a minute and a half. Were you even listening? Or were you just trying to look pretty? Okay, short version. Fia and Navarro don't get treated as criminals, but they can't go to the God's Haze. Basically, the castle will be under the kingdom's control, and Fia won't be able to take it any place without the kingdom's permission. Yeah, she refuses. Is anybody surprised? There you have it, Kisnir. Well, the way Fias makes it sound is that by giving her body to the kingdom, it's stealing her freedom. And yeah, that's not what Kisnir meant by it, although she can't exactly deny that interpretation. Alright, Kisnir, you want to help us, but can you talk the kingdom into letting us do what we like? 
Nope, she's rather low ranking. Ah, feels kind of sweet herself. Kisnir is really regretful that she can't do more. And since Kisnir is so regretful, Fia is all sympathizing with her. They're nice girls, they really are. So, we're thankful for your offer and all that, but... Well, the answer is no. One last chance? Still no. So, Kisnir still doubts if he is a god. And I once asked Avaro if he really believes it. And well, yes. That's a short version. Well, do you have any explanation as to how a regular girl can move a castle? But okay. You don't want to believe it? Fine. Oh man, did that sad music cra cut out? Must be somebody said something important again. Oh, surprise. That's military orders. And that's a mook saying, yeah, let's do it. So this is serious talk back and forth. ここが頑張りどころだね。戦いたくなんかないけど、目的を妨げるなら突破するよ。そうか。ならば互いに遠慮はなしでいこう。インフルース王国軍、留学騎士団所属、キスニル家軍、城塞格好の任のため。<笑
I think capture zinging is optional, but I'm going to be doing it like non-stop because that's how I play these games. Alright, these deploy points, if we take them down, there won't be more characters coming out of them. Unfortunately, these are really fast deploy points. Alright. Hmm. The odds are a bit against this, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Ah, nuts. Yeah, for that one I needed Fia to not only hit both times, but also get one of her special abilities to activate. Which happens surprisingly often, actually. Well, nuts. Okay, this will work. Yeah, I'm gonna need to heal Karin now. It's a good thing I made those extra healing drinks. Health potions. Yeah, whatever you want to call them. Let's take this guy. Alright, no more reinforcements from there. Hmm. Let's just defend. Well, we are out of SP, so let's restore it and keep casting. Yeah, he is pretty close to maximum buff now. And this here will be the pattern we'll try and keep up for the rest of the game, largely. Or at least for the foreseeable future. The short version is be in the back, buffed up to maximum. And Karin providing the tanking services in front. Holy crap. This is almost a perfect level up as far as I'm concerned. Physical attack, magic attack, speed, and luck. Those are basically the four, the top four. After that you just randomly fill in anything else you can get because if you have that you are knocking everybody off the face of the planet. No, you're still hurting? Hmm. Alright, around this time, Kisnir will come out at us. Hmm. Now I'm gonna equip this next turn. You can't equip things. Yeah, you can't equip things after you've moved. So, Kisner's got something to say. She's gonna head out too. Alright, Avaro, just hang tight. Fia now has the buff at maximum. That's a Roman numeral 5 on the left. And 4 turns left, meaning by the time the game is over, she still won't have run out of her powers. So, like I was saying, switch weapons to 
the power bow, which, which can shoot three holes spaces. But I'm gonna keep capturing guys. Hmm. Yeah, I can't just leave him there, looking sad like that. He's one of the few characters who can take an entire healing potion on a regular basis without wasting a whole lot. Alright, fine, let's fight back a little. Uh, you know, I should have concentrated on fighting Kisnir. Yeah, we're all sad we have to... We come to blows like this. Alright, you're not holding back. We get it. Right. Hmm. I would really like some way to do more damage here. Yeah, that's not going to change much. Yeah, she's wearing the right ring. So, here's for good luck. Wait, better idea. Maybe. Capture this guy. And knock this guy out. Now, Kisnir will attack Avaro. Better make sure he doesn't die, huh? Kisnir will attack Avaro and fail, stepping back onto the trap, which will take 10 damage from her and then 10 damage again, leaving her at considerably less than she has now. And then I can gang up on her. Then I win, and I get her item. But man, is she a powerful attacker. Okay. Oh, what's the meaning of getting up on her? These two can only deal one damage at best. Alright, let's see. Eight damage times two. This will work if they both hit. Bingo. Huh. Cotton doesn't hit very well. Very um consistently. But you only need one. The sound you just heard was me swearing in my head. That is one bad level up. So this is the awesome drop. This is a Mastia. 
I don't think I'll use it that often, but it's better to have it than to lose it. Yeah, all right. So she's been defeated, but she is obviously not out of it just yet. Here she confirms that the resistance from these two is actually pretty impressive and confirms that there haven't been any deaths on either side. Look, I'm going to be straight with you. She's talking about retreating because of the fight they're putting up. But honestly, I think she just doesn't want to fight them that badly and she's looking for any excuse to leave at all. Thanks, Mook. Okay, Mook says that if we keep pushing, we're going to win. But Kisner has an observation. Here, first of all, even if they do capture Avaro and Fia, perhaps the battle won't be over at that point. Oh, yeah, that thing. They are fighting like literally a hundred feet from one of those feet. So if it's Fia's body and she can move it, well, probably the entire company they brought with them is one footstep away from Wipeout. So, Avaro and Fia are fighting as they are now, they, perhaps because they can't move the castle to support them, or it could be because they don't want to kill us. Admittedly, Kisner doesn't have proof of that, but would you want to risk it? Well, we shut the mook up. しかし、yeah, this is basically Kisner ramming the same point into the Mook's head. So yeah, before they want to actually take the castle in force, they want to figure out what the castle can do and probably bring a lot more men. So we're going to say that this was a reconnaissance trip and we got the information we needed.
Okay, so all this pumped into him, he finally admits, but... Alright. Battle's over. So, let's talk with her. Yeah. So, sorry about fighting and all that good stuff. I've all perhaps overheard, or perhaps speculated in, but he does say that he wouldn't use the castle to try and fight them off. And he admits that if they push hard enough, it's a possibility Fia might resort to it. I guess. <laughs> and now it's Kisnu's chance to chide chide Avaro for being honest with an enemy. But whatever. She's going to join my party. Hey, why don't you ask her now? Alright, one last thing before she goes, she would like them to promise not to move the castle in such a way as it hurts people. Of course not, Fia would never do that. Well, given this much, Kisuno says that she really doesn't need to keep this up, keep this fight up. At the very least, that's a good thing that's come of it. Although she could have asked for that before. Alright, retreat orders. Alright, one more time. Would you like to retract your... your assertion that you are a god, Fia? Yep, she still thinks she's a goddess. But... Yeah, she doesn't feel any malice out of Fia, so... Of course, Fia just wants to get along. <laughs> yeah, Fia wants to get along with Kisnia. Fia wants to get along with this person and that person and pretty much everyone they've met. Alright. Preparations are ready. So, best wishes, farewell. And somehow we managed to not get her the castle stolen. Well, this is going to be hard, but we know what to do. We get to help a bunch of people out, make a lot of connections with people, and prove to them the castle's not dangerous. So... And we can't forget, we are going to the God's Haze. Alright. 
So that's that. <laughs> and getting along with Keith Nader, we get some mega power to go along with it. Whoa, ugly. Man, this guy just so reminds me of Diadora. Gokuro. Hmm. Kono Kozo to Marioku. Meate no mono de machiga in a sasoda. So, Io, that's a little one. Stole some device from us. Well, how the device got in our hands is a bit of a story, but. Stole a device from the castle. And is handing it over to this perfectly unassuming guy. He analyzes its structure and magic pretty damn quick. And with this, he's able to confirm what the castle is. Yo does uh, confirm that. Her prey got away. Oh. Yep. So someone got in the way of the killing. Namely a guy with white and black hair, half blooded elf. Say that again? Okay. Yep, and she says it again. Yes, this confirms everything, I guess. We don't <laughs> learn much about this guy for a while. <laughs> Jeez, you. We know you're evil. Do you need to, like, kick a puppy or something? We get it. Well, you're getting excited. <laughs> you're cute. Yeah, his heart is positively dancing. So, why did the half elf interrupt the assassination? It seems like he was an acquaintance of the prey. That's it? So there's an explanation. The fat guy accused Avaro of moving the castle and just handed over the item in question. And from there he stole it. Yep. So is the half elf still alive? And Io says that she assessed that the priority was to get the item. Ah, And yes, you did the right thing. I agree with your assessment. Alright, we're good here. So, Well, the request was, after all, to retrieve the item. So, payment. So 
So, Eo's asking for payment for getting the item. Ah, of course. Surprisingly, he doesn't just backstab her as soon as he, got, he gets what he wants. Alright. It's a secret seal magic book. Okay. There's a handing over here and So Yo, remember something. About the big thing that started moving, it's not a ruins, but a castle, he said. <laughs> so, apparently this guy knows enough to say that that is in fact a more accurate term considering its history. Can you tell us anything more? Nope. So, he was going to leave, but he's got an additional request in this vein. He was actually not interested. She got what she wanted, so she's basically... There's basically no point for her to continue. Okay, now he's going to make his pitch. It's not meaningless to accept this job. And Io's goal is, apparently, to get through life richly, as it were, with her important people and important stuff. And there's a lot she needs to do with for that. This is a straight up fa veiled threat. He names off Io's friend, Mikeu. And says that she should take good care of her friends because they are very important. Fine, she'll do it. You know, earlier I said, why don't you just go find a dog to kick? Well, this is a cat girl, but yeah, this guy's bad news. So, the request this time is to kill the half-elf. Gee. So, this So, now we're leaving. Now he's talking about how to visit punishment upon the coward who didn't complete his mission and ran away. That's the fat guy, in case you didn't know. So after this, one mechanic was brutally murdered and discovered somewhere, but Avaro and Fio never found out about it. Which is kind of a pity, I thought him screaming would be a running gag for the rest of the game. Yeah, and furthermore, he really didn't deserve it. Two cat girls. Reine, that name is the in-universe name for that particular race. Is it cool if I call them Reine from now on? I think it is. 
All right. Hey, she's got a ribbon in her hair. Isn't she cute? So, Eel's back, and she seems kind of happy. I'm going to do this other girl. Here you go. Eel, as soon as she got this book, clenched it rather tightly. I didn't say that during that previous scene, but she really, really wanted this book. Apparently, Mikeo wanted it. Well, so this is a magic book? He bought it. Mikeo, I think, doesn't understand what Eo does for a living. And yeah. She's really glad to have it, though. <laughs> How did you afford something so expensive? Yeah. She'll take good care of it. Alright, she's going to study it a bunch and learn a bunch of magic. And then they're going to be able to live in luxury right away. Right quick, I should say. Alright, time to eat. So, that's what Eo accomplished today. How about Mikeyu? And it's been no good for her. Nobody decided to employ her. So, since she didn't get an actual employment, she ran around doing odd jobs. She doesn't earn much money that way, though. She apparently thinks she's overflowing with talent. But... Hey, Eo believes in her. Alright, since this is a special day when she got her first magic book, we get to have a little feast. Do we have enough money for that? She really wants to celebrate, so she'll deal with it somehow. Miki, you're cool. That's just gibberish. But it's cute. Alright, we've gotten a bit further north now. Let's see what we got to see. And listen to more scenes. So, we're getting close to the Influence Kingdom boundary, actually. This area is called the Tengo Danso. And there are a lot of beastmen tribes in the area. If he is excited, they have fluffy ears and tails. She wants to cuddle. Okay, first things first. If you don't have permission, don't touch them, okay? 
I'm not confident that I won't touch them. You dork. Alright, about time for this thing to come to a stop. And yeah, it does. So this is how far we get today. So let's debark and disembark and see what we can see here. And another map has been added to the Guadalcuna Labyrinth. <laughs>